Hello students, welcome to Asan YouTube channel. Hope you all are staying home and staying safe. Today we are going to learn about genetic engineering from Unit 20 10 Standard Science. First of all, let us see what is genetic engineering. It is the manipulation of genes from one organism to another organism to create a new DNA called recombinant DNA. So genetic engineering is also known as recombinant DNA technology. Now let us see what are the basic requirements of genetic engineering. To perform genetic engineering, we need a plasmid, restriction enzymes and DNA ligases. We can see one by one in the coming slides. Let us see more about plasmids. Plasmid is present inside the bacterial cell. As shown in this figure, plasmid is the small circular double-stranded DNA molecule found in the cytoplasm of a bacterial cell and it is separated from chromosomal DNA. Next is restriction enzymes. Restriction enzymes recognizes a specific base pair sequence in DNA known as restriction site and cleaves the phosphodiester bond within the DNA. ECOR1 is a common restriction enzyme used in labs. This is the restriction site of ECOR1. When ECOR1 enzyme is added to the DNA, it recognizes and cuts this site and produces a single-handed DNA overhangs. Next is DNA ligase. As the name indicates, DNA ligases are the enzymes which help in ligating the broken DNA fragments. Here you can see gaps between the DNA fragments. When DNA ligase is added, it helps in joining the broken DNA fragment. Let us see an overview of gene cloning. The desired DNA fragment is inserted into the plasmid vector to form recombinant DNA. The recombinant DNA is then inserted into a bacterial cell where DNA will be multiplied as the cell divides. Now let us see what are the steps involved in the construction of a recombinant plasmid by gene cloning. We have a plasmid. We are using ECOR1 as the restriction enzyme and, and we are also using a DNA ligase. Hence we have all the basic requirements for genetic engineering that is we have plasmid we have restriction enzyme and we have dna ligase so to begin with we are going to cut our plasmid and the donor dna with the same restriction enzyme now we have an open plasmid and the desired dna fragment next step is to add the dna fragment into the opened plasmid then dna ligase comes into play to join the gap between the DNA fragments to form a new recombinant plasmid. Next step in gene cloning is the transformation. As the name indicate, transformation is the transfer of DNA into bacterial cell. During transformation, the recombinant plasmid is mixed with bacterial cells and grown on a nutrient agar plate containing the antibiotic ampicillin. Bacterial cells that contain recombinant plasmid are called transformed bacterial cell and only the transformed bacterial cell can survive the presence of antibiotic ampicillin. In other words, bacterial cells that do not contain the plasmid die on ampicillin plates. Later, independent plasmid replication takes place in the transformed bacterial cell. It is the replication of plasmid inside the bacterial cell. Later, cell multiplication takes place. Cell multiplication is the replication of bacterial cells. Since these cells contain copies of the same recombinant plasmid, they are called as the clone. Dolly is the first cloned female sheep created by somatic cell nuclear transfer technique. Let us see the steps involved in the development of a cloned sheep. First of all, egg was collected from a black-faced sheep. Then, 
nucleus was removed from the egg simultaneously cell was collected from a white faced sheep next step was to fuse the cell at the enucleated egg egg fused with the cell is called a zygote zygote became an embryo following various cell divisions this embryo was then implanted into a surrogate mother which gave birth to dolly the cloned sheep in summary this video gives information about basic requirements and steps involved in genetic engineering if you have any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section thank you and see you in the next video